Hey, how old is your son? He's only six. His mother left him some time ago. I've got a sitter with him. Six, huh? He's just a little guy. We're too late. Then are these guys? That's right. More pawns of the overseas. Bring it on.
哦、说什么？我会让你儿子死在你的眼前，然后再杀了你。所以你儿子现在没事的。<笑>放心啦。混蛋，居然这样和我说话！你怎么敢？Any idea where they're taking your son? No. And regardless, we need to get far away from this place. Please, you have to get me out of here. I'll tell you whatever you want. Right now, there's no knowing which of my men I can trust. Here you son. Let's start by getting out of this hotel. Come on, we need to find a safe place to lay low. That guy might have been an ally, you know? At this point, who's to say? We've no time to worry about him. Wong Tuo's left the hotel with Kasuga and his crew. They're heading south. So make sure you tell the cops they went north. Got it. Over here! Over here. Someone, just Someone just fell out the, out window. the window! Come quick! Come quick. I've never I've seen never anything seen like this! Like this. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Chan. Kasuga, the, the news is all over the internet. What happened out there? An employee was thrown out of a window at the Nirvana Hotel. Kasuga. Sorry, Agent. Sorry, Agent. We'll talk we'll later. Talk later. The, police. the police! They're taking, They're taking off. off! What's that mean? Simple. We're on our own. If the police didn't see it, it's not their problem. Damn it! That bastard. Is there anyone that doesn't control? Hey, tell me. Have you always been public enemy number one? No! I was... You oversee your, your plate. I, I never expected this. Expected. Well, maybe well, you should have. Shut your, your mouth. mouth. That's enough. That's enough. Now stay calm. Stay calm. We'll make it out of this. Moment of Moment truth. truth. Let's, let's go. go. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Right on. Care to dance? Be honored. Break yourself! Wow. Thanks. 
sorry for that, my friend. We did, we did it. it. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Ah! Ah, son of a bitch! bitch. Ah! Hey, Wong Tho! Hey, Shit! Chi Chan, you, you got a bandana, got a bandana or, something? or something? We gotta we tie got this up and stop the stop bleeding. bleeding. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, I think I had something. Wong Tao's key here, and we'll need the time to talk. What's more, we need someone we won't get attacked. Well, for that, we want to get ourselves a car. Still, let's start by getting out of here. Hey, Ichiba, we're moving Wong. Give me a hand here. Yo, yeah. Ichiban. Ichiban, let's stop here, stop for, here now. for now. Give him a Give sec him a to sec breathe. breathe. Hey, you all right, right Wonto? Right, I'm feeling a bit lightheaded light now. now. To think everything was fine before you all showed up. Yeah, yeah. must be hard. hard. All right, I'll, All right, find, I'll us find us a car. Us a car. No, point no point trying to get him up on his feet again. Feet again. Good, plan. Good plan. We'll get him we'll patched, patched up once we're at the safe, safe house. house. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. I'll come back, I'll come back as soon as I can. Yeah, yeah. Godspeed. Godspeed. Are you sure Are you, you sure won't you betray, betray you? you. <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe you can't, can't exactly trust, trust anyone right now. But tell me I'll come through. Oh, well. Even if he does keep his word. It won't mean all that much to a dead man. Well, you look all right to me. Just hang in there. There's a lot we still need to hear from you. <laughs> that would be. You were looking for Akane san. That's because this overseer asked you to, right? You said Akane san's on the run with some kind of treasure. Yeah. Who is this guy? Just who is this overseer? The overseer. He's got more control over the island than I'd ever thought possible. He placed spies in my organization, spies in the police. He's even got insiders with the Barracudas. And their loyalty, the lengths they'll go to, it's the real deal. You saw it, didn't you? The way that man jumped back there. He gave his life just so I'd be branded a traitor. For no reason other than calling me out. The Overseer, the one in charge, is Bryce. Bryce, as in the Sage of Polycana, conniving old bastard. He's the one who had us do the search. No way. I met him. He's the one behind this? Why? After everything Akane-san's done, 
All she wanted was to help people. And now, an entire religion's coming after her. But why? I mean, wasn't Polykana... Akami-san believed in that stuff too, right? Seriously? Why is Akane-san so important to these guys? See for yourself. We caught this on camera about two weeks back. Polykana. It's their orphanage, right? Sure seems like it. Yeah. This is where she worked. Look here, Kazuka. The picture that our doji faction gave me is the same photo. Whoa, you're right. Hey, tell me, who's this girl with Akane-san? She's not just some girl. You see, Bryce is really after her. Her name is Lonnie. This island... Bryce may think of himself as its new god, but she could take that all away. The girl's his Achilles' heel. Knowing how Bryce works, he'll do whatever it takes to track her down and snuff her out. Snuff her out? A poor little girl? You said her name's Lonnie? What the hell's Bryce want with a kid like her? What's killing her gonna solve? Hang on. First, who is Bryce, really? How does one man control all of Hawaii's underworld? Care to explain that? I don't know the details myself. By the time I started gaining prominence here, Bryce was already the sage of Polycana, and well in charge. Right, okay. And how far back was that? This was 30 years ago. Fair to say Bryce was always here. His control over the underworlds lasted at least all this time. And get this. He looked exactly the same back then. 30 years ago? Wait, then how old is he now? Sounds like he's easily over 90. If that's really the case, he must be some kind of monster. Back in my early days, I had my sights set on expanding to America's mainland. In a sense, Hawaii was supposed to be a sort of stepping stone. Things were going well. I had driven, driven out the out existing, existing Chinese, Chinese presence and become the and king of a new regime in Hawaii. And it's been it's Ganja, Ganja ever since, since, huh? That's right. That's right. But something, something occurred, occurred just as I was about to make my next move. You see, it was then I got a visitor. I speak for the Overseer. That was how he greeted me. The Overseer? By that he meant Bryce? Correct. I didn't know that at the time. Naturally, all I saw was a no-name fool spitting hollow threats. And given my newfound status here, I probably sent him packing. That was a grave mistake. No more than a week later, 
I received a mysterious package. It was a small cardboard box. Even stranger, the sender was my hometown. When I looked inside, I found a head staring back at me. And it wasn't just anyone's. It was my mother's. Oh. To uncover my place of birth alone was by no means an easy task. But he'd quickly proven otherwise. I chose to shove it in my face. And it was then and there I knew what I was up against. And after that, it will side with Bryce or suffer the consequences. Right. Granted, I was always looking for a chance at revenge. Truly, I may have been healed, but I could never let my mother's death go unanswered. To that end, I went to great lengths selecting men I could trust. There was no knowing what would make its way back to Bryce. And still, that suit, right? Bryce's spies were right under your nose the whole time. So it would seem. Furthermore, Palakana's at the heart of this whole mess. Bryce's spies, they're bred from within Palakana itself. What, like brainwashing? Exactly. He uses his position as sage to influence believers. And once he has their trust, he makes himself their object of worship. Those he lures in, Follow his every command. Not even death is off the table. Long as it's for his sake. You saw that for yourself back at the hotel. Bryce's role as Palakana Sage is everything to him. It's more than just a front. Much more. Okay, Bryce is no joke. Get that. But back to my original question. Why the hell is this Lonnie so important to him? Well, I'm not sure. It's like I said before, as far as we know, Dwight and I are only following Bryce's orders. That's not to mention that we rarely received those from the man himself. However, this time, we did. He told us to find the girl named Lonnie at all costs, and that Akane be with her. He said she was trying to keep her safe. That's all we were ever told, no rhyme or reason. Bryce had given the order, and with that, we had no choice but to follow. Ah, Dwight left that out. In fact, he was pretty vague about things. He told us an unknown client offered him 10 mil and that's it. Hmm. The Overseer's identity is the last thing he let slip. Wouldn't you know? He bought his story, hook, line, and sinker. Sneaky bastard. Who knew he was such an actor? Anyway, this was some rare direct order from Bryce. And Akane-san and this Lonnie girl are special. He wouldn't pull out all the stops otherwise. And that's why you thought Lonnie was Bryce's weak point. Is that right? Yeah. I thought if I could get my hands on her, Bryce would be the one bowing down to me. But I was foolish. So we got mafia bosses and casino managers at play. Two grown-ass men with pretty major titles chasing after a kid with no real clue as to why. <sighs> And then there's Akane-san. She must have realized that Lonnie was being targeted. Fair to say, that's why she ran off with her. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Based on this, she looks a 